The Affinity apps have a very useful keyboard and brush modifier that allows you to change brush width, hardness, shape, spacing and rotation, all without leaving your position on the document view. I'll show you quickly how to use it. Let's start with an example scenario. I've got some cutouts in this scene, and I need to quickly block in some basic shadow detail underneath their feet. I'll expand the cutouts group and select the first layer in the group, then create a new pixel layer above it. To stay organized, I'll double click this layer and name it Shadows. The layers above are the cutouts in the middle of the scene. Because the shadows layer is underneath them in the layer stack, it will ensure that the cutouts correctly occlude the shadows. Now I'll switch to the paintbrush tool. It's on the tools panel here, or alternatively, I can press B on the keyboard. I need to create a soft edged oval brush for my shadow detail. Rather than having to edit the brush parameters on the context toolbar, which takes my focus away from the document view, I can instead hold Ctrl and Option on Mac, or Ctrl and Alt on Windows. I can now left click and drag left and right to decrease and increase width, and drag up and down to decrease and increase hardness. Just by click dragging, I can quickly create a small and soft brush nozzle. However, if I keep the keyboard modifiers held down, and I instead single click on the left mouse button, I can now toggle across to shape and spacing. I can left click and drag left and right to change shape, and drag up and down to change spacing. Changing shape allows me to quickly create an oval nozzle. Single clicking again toggles across to rotation, and with this control, I can click drag to rotate the brush nozzle until it is horizontal. Single clicking once more returns to width and hardness. With my soft oval brush created, I can now release the keyboard modifiers and begin painting in my shadow detail. I can use the left and right bracket keys to change the brush width, and I can also change rotation in small increments using the left and right arrow keys. Finally, it's easy to return to this particular brush setup in the future if I need to. For example, I might create a pixel layer at the top of the layer stack, set its blend mode to overlay, and take the opacity down to around 30%. I'll then use the brush modifier to create a larger soft round brush with tight spacing. Set my active color to white, then paint into the building detail to brighten it. Notice that both this layer and the previous shadows layer have a small brush icon to the right of the text. I can click on this on the shadows layer to bring up its brush history. And there are my two variations of the oval brush I used previously. I can click one of them to instantly jump back to those brush settings. Then, at any point, I can click the same icon on the new pixel layer and return to the soft round brush I created after painting the shadows. So this is a very quick and effective way to jump between brush configurations during your editing session. And that was a quick video showing you how to use the keyboard and mouse brush modifier. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.